Today, for the first time, we are flying the beautiful CRG900 in a not so beautiful flight. Again, this is my first time and it will come with lots of mistakes. But I just want you to show you the beauty here. Let's turn this thing on. We are going to turn on the battery and we select the external power here. We turn on the AC electrical power. We switch that to on. There we go. And so all the MFDs turn on and the plane is going wild with beeping. Let me turn that off. Okay, let's start the auxiliary power unit, the APU, which can provide power on the ground while the engines are not running. We turn on the uh, APU power fuel button once and we push the APU start stop button here. Look at that. And if I can reach them here, we rotate the two IRS selectors to the nav position over there. There we go. Okay, we push both stab trim buttons once to turn both stabilizer trim channels on. And we push the MAC trim button to turn it on. Up next, we push the uh, over here the YD1 and 2 buttons to engage the yaw damper. There we go. And not to forget, in the overhead panel on the passenger signs panel, we uh, turn on the seatbelt signs here, the no smoking signs, and we, uh, oh, we arm the emergency exit lights here. There we go. And as the ground is clear, we can power up the hydraulics over here. So we set all four hydraulic switches to the forward position. And a little bit hidden, but for our departure, we want to follow the flight plan. And so we can uh, rotate this knob, the nav source knob, to select FMS1 on the PFD. Okay, we click on the FD button here to engage the autopilot on the flight director. There we go. Let's also select our speed. I think I will put it down to uh, 150 knots here. Is that our takeoff speed? There we go. Now we do the same for the altitude there. Cruising altitude of uh, 9000. So let me put that. Okay, ready to start the engines. We turn on the boost pumps with the uh, L and R boost pump buttons over there. There we go. We uh, set on the beacon lights here using the beacon switch in the external lights panel. And now let's start the left engine first. We push the left engine start button. The engine starts rotating. And we move the uh, thrust lever forward from the cutoff to the idle position. And uh, you can see here it is now spooling up. Fantastic. And the detail is so absolutely fantastic. Look at the lighting. Look at just the shadows. Ah. And so we do the exact same thing for the uh, right engine here. Uh, starting it over here and putting it from the cutoff to the idle position. It is spooling up. So yeah, we don't need the APU anymore. Uh, the engines uh, will provide enough power. So let's turn the APU off over here. Okay, let's turn on the uh, pneumatic air conditioning kits over here. Left and right. There we go. Okay, now we are really ready to taxi. Let me put some power into the engines. If it works, there we go. The plane will be moving and we are going to taxi to the runway. See you there. Okay, we are now ready to taxi. Just checking if everything is all right. Ah oh man, I am so amazed by the graphics. There is no co-pilot. If only this game had co-op, it would have been such a crazy experience. Um, yeah, it looks all, all good. Uh, okay, flaps are set. Uh, double checking, that's all good. And I think we are ready to go. So I will be uh, putting the first levels up. Let me uh, turn down the hot. This is really handy. For taking off so let me put the throttle in the tao takeoff position over here oh it's a bit uh, clumsy there we go we are moving forward and i can see here on the hot without having to look down on the mfds how fast that i am going so we will be hitting 100 knots right now and at around 150 knots i will be rotating the plane that will be soon everything looks good engines are good and there we go, rotating. 
and I am doing this without any hotes. So just with the controllers, with my hands. This looks all good. We have a uh, positive climb rate, it seems. Gear up. And there we go. And I will uh, cruise towards making a hard right turn here. I will uh, cruise towards 9000 feet and I will come back at uh, cruising altitudes. See you soon. Alright, we can also uh, put the flaps up again. There we go. And uh, I will turn off the uh, hot here. I will put it up. We are now cruising. It all looks fine. And this never gets old in VR, I tell you. Ah man, such a fantastic experience. And I totally forgot to mention we are flying from Rotterdam to Eindhoven Airport. This is a empty plane. We are flying it to Eindhoven for maintenance. It's a very short flight and so we are already descending. We have one big problem. This is the first time I am flying this plane and I don't know how to land this plane using the instruments. I don't know how to land this using an ILS approach. So we have to do it manually. And that's going to be pretty tricky, I can tell you that. Okay, we are now turning into final. Eindhoven Airport is on our left. We are at 2000 feet. I am uh, going to increase the speed here just a bit. We are going 160 knots. I would like to get that to 180 knots. We are at 2000 feet. And I would like to keep it that way. Making a left turn here. The airport is over there. And uh, oh, a little bit too steep there. There we go. And I don't know if 2000 feet is high or low. I have no clue. The airport is now up ahead. Uh, decreasing speed here just a notch again. 1800 feet. We are doing fine. We are not very aligned with the runway. That worries me a bit. But thank God we do have this hut here in front of us. So I don't have to... Okay, uh, gear down here. That I don't have to look into the uh, into the MFDs all the time. This makes it quite easier. I will have to put the flaps down though. Uh, decreasing speed here. We are a little bit fast. I want to decrease the flaps just a bit more. Maybe even all the way now, to be honest. Let me just uh, put them a notch down. Let's just put them all the way down. Why not? This will... Uh, yeah, just over speeding here for just a bit. That's fine. More drag. We will lift in altitude. 1200 soon. There we go. I will put the nose down. Serious. I am a little bit... A little bit worried that we are not aligned with the runway. I will have to use some rudder in the end. 1000. Uh, yeah, 1000. Increasing speed here. I would like to keep between 160 and 180 knots. Flight slow. Flight slow. And I don't know what this means. We are now catching the glide slope. I have no clue. So again, this is my first time Flight operating slow. this plane. Flight slow. Let me just... I need to focus. I cannot focus and talk, guys. Not on my Flight first slow. landing 500. here. <laughs> 500. There we go. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're doing fine. Just a little bit more rudder soon. 400. 400. Okay, that is getting a bit annoying here. Increasing the speed here just a bit. I think we are really slow, but... 300. It would be so good to have a co-pilot right now. <laughs> Okay, 250. Taking it easy. Let me just turn that annoying glide slope sound off. Oh, well, maybe not. 200. And look at that. Doing fine here. A little bit of rudder soon. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Not switching hands. Not a good idea. 100. There we go. 
Well. 20. Sorry guys, I am. Ten. There we go. Not butter, but uh, it's something. Uh, reverse thrust here. Trying, trying my best here. Thank God we don't have any passengers on board. So, uh, to be honest, not too shabby. Not too shabby. I was expecting worse. Let me put these back. How do I do that? Man. Okay. Oh, damn it. Well, there we go. We have landed at Eindhoven Airport. Okay, and then we can just... Uh, let me turn off the uh, turn off the hot again. And we make a right turn over here. And then taxi to the uh, maintenance gate. And we see some uh, blue KLM uh, planes over here at Eindhoven. I can tell you one thing. KLM planes are not... Uh, parked over here at this airport and as we are taxiing to the maintenance gate i want to thank you for watching again it was my very first flight in this plane definitely not a professional flight of any kind still learning but i think it showed once more the beauty of flying in vr with virtual hands as always if you want to keep up to date with the latest vr games subscribe to this channel it would support me enormously and uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.